If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are trying out this SBC edit in a Italian team. I thought we, we'll make it a bit more fun, change the whole team around and just make it pure Italian and take him through the daily knockout tournament. 88 pace, 85 shooting, 79 passing, 87 dribbling, 28 defending, and 66 physical. Now, there is an alternative. I guess you could use Giovinco, but Giovinco is very, very weak, and Adair has the non inform has always been pretty good. So, who knows? We'll see. We'll test him out and see how good he is in this squad. Now, An Andrea Pelo is missing, but I just can't handle his stamina. Um, so I have used Bonaventura instead. So this is the team we're using around this a day. It actually looks really nice. Bonaventura instead of Buffon because I prefer height than Buffon. And um, Maldini as a left back because we already have two insane center backs. And we also have um, a good right back, good central mids, and decent attack. Who knows? Who knows how this will play out? I actually haven't tried Verratti out, so this will be interesting. And um, we haven't obviously tried Edir. And we haven't even tried the left back Maldini, nor the right back um, uh, Caligueri, I guess that's how you say his name. So, guys, make sure you check out G2A. Links will be in the description if you look to buy PSN cards, Microsoft points, all cheap PC games. Um, Donnarumma, 6'5". I think his man of the match was one of my favorite keepers, 28k. So, we'll see how good he is. Anyway, Adet, 5'10", high medium work rates. He is quite tall, actually. So he might not feel like he has 88 pace. Um, full star weak foot, which is one of the more important things for a striker, like I always say in the videos. So he has 89 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, which is decent. 90 attack positioning, 86 finishing is a bit on the low side, considering all the team of seasons that you put now in your squad. But this guy is actually very cheap to, you know, to get. So can't really compare with how much a team of season card costs and this guy because I think if you if you put it into perspective I think he goes like 5, 5k maybe that maybe a bit more I don't know um, 82 long shots so he does have 85 shot power 82 long shots but we're gonna test that out um, 80 volleys 82 penalties his passing stats are okay free kick accuracy is pretty nice long passing is absolutely terrible so we need to make sure we don't do that 86 curve is decent his agility is only 84, so his dribbling stats are okay, like 89 ball control, 87 dribbling, 81 uh, composure. So it's not too bad, but then look at his physical stats are actually quite dreadful. Then we have 77 stamina is the only good one, and the rest are actually just shocking. So maybe they're not shocking, maybe it's because I'm so used to like everything green with all these team of the season cards. But Adair, let us see how he plays. We're going to cross it to him, we're going to try to take long shots, we're going to try and finish. It's gonna be interesting, here we go. All right, dudes, we are playing a German squad. Not too bad, he has a lone Sane. Werner up front, he has Royce on the right side, Kadira scream card. Oh, I thought that was a good pass from a day, actually. For his long passing, would that count as a short pass or long pass? I don't know, but guys, that was a really nice uh, pass from Adair. Oh my god, these guys in school. Yeah, that's that was really good from him. Just dribble, dribbles past my Chiellini, I think it was. He did really well there to score, so credit to him for doing that. I didn't know he had enough uh, space to dribble past him, but 1-0 to Germany against Italy. And even though Italy is Germany's kryptonite, so <laughs> let's see. Italy never loses against Germany, okay? So let's see what we could do. Oh, what is that for a pass, guys? Oh my days, what is going on? It's like everything is just bouncing to him. So he gets another goal, and this time it's with Kadira. He finally has short hair. Not bad. And there's gone, boys. Adair! And he finishes it. Boateng trying to foul me on the last second. Doesn't get it. And we get the goal, boys. We're back in the league. about to say back in the league. Let's, you know, <laughs> calm down. But, uh, still early days. 14 minutes in. Three goals, so... We're both playing or defending crap.
And this finishing is actually pretty good. Full star weak foot. And we get uh, the finish with his left. Not too bad, guys. The attack is playing really well. I'm not too sure about the defense. This guy's got a decent free kick. Not sure if he's going to know how to cross it or not. Looks like he's shooting. Like he's just a chip. Oh my days. This guy's crazy with his mullah. Oh my god. <laughs> Where you go? Just chips it to Muller and Muller just volleys it in. I don't think my Donnarumma has made a save yet. And there's positioning boys. Off the kickoff. Let's go. Uh, the positioning made a really nice run. I have to admit Verratti's been ama amazing. He's the best midfielder I have. He's better than Florenzi. Look at that. Amazing pass and intercepting and just he's all over the place really really like him oh a dear what a goal from him that was a crazy finesse shot really nice pass from immobile but guys this a dear seems to be amazing what is his for his fourth goal what a player I think my, I might like it more than Giovinco. Oh! And then his finesse shots outside the area are crazy. That didn't even look like a good finesse shot, but he still went in. 5-3 guys. I told you. Germany just doesn't just doesn't beat Italy, okay? It's just not gonna happen. So, there we go. 5 3. We're finally, you know, getting a little cushion here so we could be a bit more comfortable with our playstyle. Oh. Let's go, a dear mate. Who's that? Oh. Someone that's slow. We still have the board. There we go. Ref, come on. Ref. Alright, so we have a free kick in a really good position, actually. We're gonna give it to Edir. Here we go. 84 free kick accuracy, which is not bad at all. Here we go. Oh, deflection! What is going on? <laughs> I just didn't expect him to score so many goals. Just because his stats don't look the best, but wow. He just seems to be overpowered for his rating. Oh, that was so unlucky though for, for the opponent, but you know what? He got a lucky goal. I think it was the second goal. It was very lucky. It's even now. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come on. I did get into the area. I did get into the area, mate. He's going to Eddie. Oh! <laughs> he is actually really good. 7 3. What a cross from Del Piero. And it, it just brings back memories from the... Was it the previous World Cup? When he was playing with... Um, what's his name? Pele. Look at that. 83 rated. He seems higher rated than that. Oh. We caught him, boys. Can we keep going? We still have the ball somehow. Oh my days. The weak foot shot. Long shot. Nah, that was trash. So, guys, what a surprise with this idea. We were losing 2-0. And then this guy even scores after we tie it up to make it 3-2, I think it was. Or was it 3-1? But we show up second half and absolutely annihilate him. Seven goals for this idea. And they were all pretty nice goals, you know. Four assists for a uh, for our Immobile. One for Del Piero, one for Verratti. And I have to admit... Verratti better than Bonaventura, better than Florenzi. Make sure you try him out. Defensively, he's insane. Attacking wise, he's not the greatest, but he assisted my uh, Edir once, so it's not too bad. Edir, though, oh my god, what a surprise. Let's head into the second match and see what else we can score with him. 
All right, so the next match we face, what is this team? Argentinian team, Messi, Gomez. Is that Gomez? I think it is Gomez Otamendi, team of the seasons. But then the rest of the squad looks quite crappy. Man, Adir's positioning is absolutely crazy. How he runs through all these defenders. How is this possible? Because some of my team of season plays don't even do this. Look at this. I'm waiting for him. Makes an amazing run. Great first touch. Easy finish. Pass to Adir. Easy finish. There we go. 2 0 in seven minutes against the Argentinian squad. This is pretty much what the semi finals? No, it's not. But uh, seven minutes in, we took out Germany. We're about to take out Argentina. Who's next? Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Oh, this guy's going to catch up. It's, it's going to be the same as yesterday, right? I go up 2-0 and then they start catching up. But Donnarumma, I might have to change him. He hasn't made any saves. There we go. 26 minutes in and the guy is gone, guys. He is gone. So I'm not really going to count this match. Just get into the next match. All right, boys, we are facing another German squad, I guess. People like Germany the most. Like, I, don't, I don't know. Is the, is the German team the best team to pick? Ref! Penalty! Let's go! We were trying to assist with our idea and then this guy fouls us. Oh, man. All right. I'm not sure if that was his fault or not, but... We'll take it. We will take it. We'll give it to Adair. What's his penalties? 82, so not the best, but not the worst. So put it here. There we go. You know, smooth, sweet, to the point. 1-0, four minutes in, in the semis against Germany. Oh man, so close. How did Boateng slide like that? That is just dumb in this game. Literally. Some of the stuff that is happening in this game is just dumb. Oh my god! Imagine that one in. How is Tostegan making these crazy saves? How? How? How is he making so many good saves? Oh, bad decision from him though, and we get the 2-0. I guess, I'm saying how is he making that save, that was like a slow motion shot, so not too, you know, surprised he made that save actually. There we go, 3-0, just to kind of end it there. <laughs> I'm not sure if this guy will ever catch up. He has been pretty close on some occasions, but Adir, the runs he makes, is just... I don't understand it. His stats aren't that great looking, but he plays pretty good on the pitch. Oh. Oh. Chip the keeper. No. Why did he have a center back there? So we beat this guy 3-0 in the semi-final. So we beat Germany, Argentina, Germany. One of them was a penalty from Adir. Two goals for him in this matchup. Any assists, one for Immobile. And the rest just came out of nowhere. So guys, Adir, for how much that SBC costs, definitely I recommend you do it. Not even for the Rashford SBC. This guy is amazing. For how much he's like for how much he's going for, it's crazy. How much you get for your, for your for your coins? So everything about him feels overpowered. Like his shooting, his his dribbling is amazing. Also, his attack positioning is better than some of my, or some of the team of the season cards I've tried out, guys. So everything about this idea feels absolutely insane. And uh, for how like for how much he's rated, I think it's like 82 or 83. Feels like an 86, 87 rate, just like Rashford. 
I might go as far as saying this guy could be better than Rashford. <laughs> He's such a, the only thing I would say is his long shots are quite weak. So if you like to take long shots a lot, he might not be suitable for you. But the runs he makes just gives defenders a lot of bad, you know, just makes it a lot difficult, to, a lot more difficult to defend against him. But Immobile, it did. Del Piero, really great combo. The defense, I'm not sure if I like it actually. I don't know. A lot of defenders seem to, to be out of position for me. Especially my wing banks didn't like them at all. So the, the, the midfield was okay, nothing too special. Donnarumma was absolutely atrocious in this match. That's all there is to it, guys. Let me know if you've tried out this idea. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Highly recommended. We beat Germany twice and Argentina. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hit like button if you did and hopefully you have a very nice day.